Hey y'all, Joe here, Southern Coast of Cooking. Coming at you tonight, I want to show you some new products, some stuff we're going to cook up. I want to thank my friend, uh, Sir Fish and Sapo, uh, for turning me on to this. The first thing I'm going to show you, it's a new rub. It's, it's uh, Dull Spindale Spice Company. And it's, it's kind of an accident that I came by this. I just happened to see it on Facebook as people asked me. It's a weenie rub for hot dogs. They make other rubs too. We'll talk about that at another time. But their original weenie rub, they call it their orange spice, brings out the best in your hot dog. And this is it right here. It's for hot dogs. Yeah, I'm not lying. They made a rub for hot dogs. And it's an orange colored rub. I don't think it has an orange flavor to it. But uh, you got this and they also have a mesquite flavor. And it's, it looks like a kind of a salt, pepper, garlic looking rub. But I am definitely going to try these from the Dulce Pendejo Spice Company. Um, I appreciate them sending them out. I just I was really interested when I saw people talking about that they were cooking all these hot dogs. Now, to use those, uh, they say you need one of these hot dog you know, devices. It's, well, it's better to have something that scores or curls on your dog. And I looked into one of those devices that just kind of cuts as the cross cuts, but it seems like 20 bucks. I'm not spending on that on a, a unit task or just to cut hot dogs. So I got this curly dog off Amazon. I'll put a link to this. It's a whole lot cheaper. Um, now, as far as the hot dogs go, I did a lot of research on hot dogs. <laughs> it's crazy that time. So who makes the very, very best hot dogs? And for what I found, Wellshire, okay, brand makes the very best hot dogs out there. Now I know a lot of you may have you know, different opinions or something like that, but this is according to the surveys and all the research that I was reading. So I got two different kinds from them. I got their uncured, old-fashioned beef franks right here, okay, and. It's a fully cooked, uh, no preservatives, all natural, without antibiotics or growth hormones, and um, you're uncured, so you don't have to worry about the nitrates and stuff like that. Um, this is really good because it's in my kind of meal plan or diet that I'm on. It uh, doesn't have any sugar, well, it has one gram of sugar and uh, one gram of carbohydrates. So there's nice sized dogs here. Now they also had, I want to try their sugar free, okay, all natural, uncured beef franks. And these are paleo friendly um, and they have a zero, of, let's see, yeah, zero sugar and zero carbohydrates. So that's very important to me with uh, what I've been trying to do. So uh, anyway, we'll keep, uh, I'm really ready to try these well showers. Now you can order them from the website, I'll put a link there, or you can get them at Whole Foods Market. So uh, anyway, without further ado, we'll get on to fixing some of these hot dogs up. Okay, y'all, let me show you how this is done here with the uh, throw it on. All right, practice a little bit first. All right, here's the red one, the small one. I'm gonna take one of the sugar-free uh, all natural dogs and put in there. What you wanna do is you wanna kind of put some sure you get in the middle. We want the flat sides down. Just press it down just a little bit. It just helps some just to set into the jaws of the same. Now you just shut it like that. Make sure it gets nice and shut. And then just like a little old magician trick, you know, where we stick, stick a sword through the box with the lady in there. You just push that spike right through there. All right. And when you open it up, see that's what helps you get it off of here without it falling apart or anything like that. Just secure. So you just pull it up like that. Push it off of here and see how everything's perforated just like it needs to be. All right, and let's show you how to do with one of the bigger ones. This is going to be with one of the uh, old fashioned dogs, okay? And this one's got the natural case and stuff like that, I believe. All right, so this one's a little bit more important with the big one that you do press it down more. It's such a bigger hot dog. So we'll go ahead and just start kind of pressing and get it like halfway on there, all right? Before we shut this, all right, and then we're gonna shut the case, all right, get the shut one just like that. Same thing, we're gonna put the skewer right there through the end, okay? We'll open her up and just like that, take both sides, pull it off, hold everything together, okay, and push it together just like that. Now, as far as the seasonings go, y'all. There's two schools of thought. I've heard people say season the dogs before they go on the grill or whatever you want to cook them and season them after. So we're going to try both ways. 
I'm just kind of split these up here uh, with the season before and after. Looks like I need to do one more large one and we'll get this done. We're going to split the seasoning up as well, y'all. Let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take uh, the orange rub here and we're going to put it on some of these. Okay. Orange rub. And we're going to take that, put it on here. Again, this is, we're doing this before the cook. Trying to get down all those little crevices on the hot dog. All right. And then we're going to take the hickory smoked, or the, right there. Or mesquite smoked, I'm sorry. And get this on the other half. Okay. And put that there. Okay. This smells wonderful, by the way. Okay. And the other ones we'll do, it says to season them after they get off the cooker. So we'll try that that way. So we'll do it two different ways. So we're out here on the PK360. That's how I'm going to set this up. And what we're going to do is put these on here. All right now I've got the ones with the orange. They've already been seasoned, right? So we'll put those on there. All right, then we have the, uh, the mesquite already seasoned. Put those on right there. Okay, maybe I have to scoot them over just a little bit because I want to try to get everything on kind of even. Okay, just like that. Now I've got uh, the unseasoned ones with the curly dog right here. All right, put those on. These haven't been seasoned yet. But they've still had the curl -a dog effect. All right. Put that there. And then I've got some control. This hasn't been curl -a dog They're just normal. No seasoning. All right. So we got all these hot dogs on here just like this. Looks like we've got a little bit more room. Take down there. That way we can get everybody spaced out a little bit. All right. And I'm going to close the lid here. And we'll just uh, let the PK360 do its thing. Kind of indirect there on the dogs. Uh, close this little vent here on that side, and I got the vent open down there. Uh, the bottom vent closed on that side, but the top open. That's how you do for the indirect cook. So let them roll for a few minutes and check them. All right, they've been on a few minutes now. What I'm going to do is kind of turn them. Really, almost done. Oh yeah. Let me get over here where I can kind of flip them over. Kind of we'll check them out, see if they got any. Now, I could put them over the coals and do them really charred. I'm not a huge fan of just really charred hot dogs, to be honest with you. But uh, we'll turn them like that. Grills them kind of a hill here. Turn them like that. Get the grill marks up and going. Turn this one right here. That's a good thing about this curler dog. It keeps them from rolling so much. Turn them like that. Turn them over. All right, so all this doesn't have the rub on it, all right? So this one's been got the rub. This one's got the rub. That's the mesquite rubs there. Then we we'll go to the orange rub there. It's like it's kind of almost cooking faster. Probably just where they are. We pull them back off the fire just a little bit. I'm going to go for just a little bit more, y'all. Looking good, though. Looks nice. I think what I'm going to do now is kind of look, get a little bit of sear on these as I take them off. And I'm actually going to put on the ones that I'm going to put the rub on as they're finished. I'm going to get my rub ready. Okay. With the orange and the mesquite. I'm going to go ahead and get that ready over here. But, uh, you know, just let these be hanging out here. But I, yeah, I do want to put a little bit of char. I'll show y'all how I'm going to do that, okay? Just hang out with me here just for a second. We'll take this one here. Obviously, this is one of the ones that doesn't have um, doesn't have the season. Oh, it's going to split. That one's just about perfect. 
And this is these are my control units there. I'm gonna let those get a little bit of char. I'll take them off, put them over there on the full as they go. And then we'll uh we'll go with these ones here that don't have the seasoning on them yet, right? Okay. We're gonna try this all different kind of ways. Should I need to put that one more there toward the center? It was bigger. Alright? Get that little sear just for a second. I'm going to go ahead and start taking these off and setting them over to the side. This one being first. That's going to be a control. Right there. Oh, yeah. That one's put. That's going to be a control. Alright, now these. We've got this here. This here. And this here. We're going to sprinkle the mosquito on these. Alright? Remember, right is they. Uh, hopefully, y'all can see this. I'm hoping y'all can see all this. Let's see. Yeah. All right. Right on there, the mesquite. Right as I take them off there. And I'm going to put the orange on these as I take them off. Okay. Whoa. Man, that's like I tried to run across the street there. All right. Okay. There we go. I'll take those off and some sweet and orange. Then we'll draw attention over here to the ones that uh, already had the rub on them. I move those over a little bit closer to the fire. And remember, this is the mesquite here. I don't want to really sear them too, too much. Oh, why not? You know, sear them somewhat. And those right. This orange right there. This is the mesquite. Let's kind of just let them get a little kiss of fire there before we take them off. We can get everything organized over here. Uh, all right. I think he's about ready to go off. I'm going to take these off right now. Okay, let me go through this what I got y'all so y'all help me remember if I forget here Okay, this is The orange before fire before cooking mesquite before cooking. This is the uh, orange After cooking and the mesquite after cooking and these are my controls down here if y'all can see that All right, y'all get everything laid out here on the cutting board So what we got all right First off, I've got my ones that have been pre-seasoned with the Dulcepandales orange right there on the end. Then the ones that are pre-seasoned with the Dulcepandales um, mesquite. Then the ones that are seasoned after the cook with the orange, after the cook with the mesquite. And then just your control. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Somewhere here it is. Right, let's try the pre-seasoned with the orange, the larger, old-fashioned style dog. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. Love flavor. Love flavor. I like that. That really does taste like an old fashioned hot dog. Oop, turning on here. All right, let's try the small one. It's sugar free. Better try. Mm hmm. Okay. Definitely a little bit more natural flavor. Got that sugar in there. You know, I hate to skip around, but let me go over here to the one, the control was not seasoned at all. Way over here. That's where I should have started. But uh, this one. Mmm. Best thing about that one is the skin. It's a wonderful skin on there. 
really good taste, good snap to it. All right, now, a little sugar-free one. Good palate cleanser. All right, now, let's go to the mesquite that was cooked and seasoned before cooked. All right, right here. Mmm. That's good. I almost could use that on beef. Like, you know, not just beef hot dog, like, you know, brisket or something. Now this one is a smaller, just sugar-free one, like that. Mm-hmm. That's good. A natural flavor. Now, while I'm having to go back to my control, so the palate cleanser, before I go to the ones that are seasoned after cooks. Mmm. That, that old fashioned dog is just amazing. You gotta try these hot dogs. And, um, all right, now this is seasoned after cooks with the orange, all right? Try this. Okay, definitely has a little more bite to it. Has a little more of that orange zest like flavor. All right, with the after cook seasoning. And I'm gonna try this, the sugar free one like that. That one's good. I still, Big fan of those. That skin on, on that old fashioned oil was just amazing. I'll take that one color. <laughs> okay, now the uh, smoking mesquite or the mesquite with the seasoned after cook on the old fashioned dog. Mmm. That is good. And one more. The old fashioned dog with the, uh, not the old fashioned dog, the sugar free dog with the mesquite seasoned after cooking. To declare a winner. Let me think just for a minute. I'll come right back to y'all. Okay, after much deliberation, I have to say, number one, first place winner is the Old Fashioned Dog seasoned with the Weenie Rub Original Orange Seasoning. Um, orange spice brings out the best in your hot dog, yeah, for sure. Uh, on the Old Fashioned Dog seasoned after cooking. Everything was really, really good. And the ones without the seasoning were really good. But this one has a slight edge out over everything else. I think they were the very best. But y'all gotta check these hot dogs out. I'll put a link in the description box where you can get them from the website or you can get them from Whole Foods. Uh, put some pictures and stuff like that. Thank y'all so much for hanging in with me. And God bless y'all. Y'all have a good one. Remember to like my videos, sub my channel. We'll see you later. Thank y'all.